Hello everyone, this is Chelsea with a Legume Day, and let's talk beans and greens. It's a great combo, so we wanna share a quick go-to meal that we often do for a fast, healthy weeknight option, and that is beans and broccoli. Alrighty, so to a skillet over medium-high heat, add some olive oil, a pound of chopped broccoli. We use frozen broccoli because that makes it even faster. Again, perfect for a weeknight meal and then add chili flakes. We like about half a teaspoon of chili flakes, but do more or less depending on the spice level that you like. Stir that up and give it a minute or so that the chili flakes can release more of their flavor, and then add soy sauce. About three tablespoons, but it's gonna depend on if you use low sodium soy sauce, or regular, and also on how salty your beans are, so see the recipe notes for that. The next ingredient is bean broth. So take about a cup of bean broth and it's gonna turn into a delicious sauce. Bean broth comes from when you cook your own dry beans at home. You can check out the video on how to cook dry beans linked in the description. Give that a good stir and cook until the broccoli is heated through. It'll be just a few minutes. And now it's time for the star of the show. We're gonna go ahead and add two cups of cooked pinto beans. To the beans and broccoli mixture, add about three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I like to add a little bit more, but add a little bit less to start and then taste it and you can add more as you need later on. Anyway, add that, stir it up, and let the beans warm through now. That'll be a couple more minutes. The last ingredient is a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, which will really just boost the nice savory profile of this dish. So go ahead and add that, stir everything all up, and then you can taste for seasoning and adjust as needed. That's it, hope you enjoy. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.